Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with Almighty Minotaur. We haven't played with this tank for a year. Plus, on top of that, this tank is top of the tree as well. So this is exciting stuff, or is it? Uh, because top of the tree is going to be very, very, very well armored tank destroyers. Italian ones and American ones. <clears throat> this is going to be quite a journey to say that the least anyways uh, keep this in mind fellas you can be a part of the index project as well as an example Minotaur is not really popular tank by the looks of it and we have only 69 votes but people are rating this tank pretty high and if you want to rate the tank yourself log in via our gaming API and you can do that as well fellas keep this in mind so yeah Anyways, what we are going to do, we are going to go into the heavy line and we are going to try to uh, make this vehicle work. Now, what is the best thing about Minotaur? Because this tank isn't bad, you know? The best thing about this tank is armor and you have semi-rotatable turret, right? That is absolutely glorious and that is amazing. That's great thing. What is so bad about this tank? Unfortunately, but the gun is absolutely disgusting. And since... So the gun is disgusting you need to you pretty much need to spam the gold quite a bit as an example now we are going into the heavy line and we are going to slap the living crap out of the heavies we will try to play hold down and we are going to try to be the living crap out of them you know this is very 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 important thing it is very important thing anyways uh i am quite happy for how many forces enemies has there okay that is very 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 good stuff skill what do you mean it's very good stuff i mean pay attention at this pay attention at this there is kranwagen there is 277 there is a one to one we are chilling and we are having a great time over there that one for the team unfortunately i did not hit that one but it doesn't really change anything we can go up just like so without any questions asked we will try to we will try to slap this crown wagon just like so you know we want to get involved here and we want to keep slapping them for their stupidity and for their mistakes now object is getting involved we are saying how are you doing how is your day are you enjoying yourself four seconds left three seconds left two seconds left okay and we still have one more um in the mag right so do we want to go on the reload i think we want to do this I think we want to go on the reload. So far, I am feeling very, very well. Believe me or not, I am feeling fine. I know those two guys should be able to slap someone who will try to cross like this. So it is kind of all right. I'm fine. I do not want to escape from here. I am feeling okay. I truly feel okay. Now you can see how the gun feels of this tank, fellas. And the gun is definitely a problem. I can promise you that, fellas. The gun is definitely a problem of this tank, and it's far away from being ideal, and it's far away from being excellent. Meanwhile, Minotaur is considering his life choices to go for us, and that is okay. This is what I need. This is what I need. You see, we have a Jekpizdas uh, on the side, our protectors of the day. So that feels very, very, very good. And this is not so simple to eliminate me. Meanwhile, Mr. Minotaur made a decision to go for us. So we are slapping Mr. Minotaur. And now since he's down to fartable, we need to eliminate him from the game. I'm aware of that that I will take one. But considering how his gun handling is looking like, you know, he cannot do that. Um, he co cannot hit us that easily and to slap us. You know, so we are feeling okay. We are just holding position. We are just holding position, fellas. Now, what we need to do in this situation, we need to eliminate him from the game. I believe that's fear, and this is exactly what we need. Beautiful. This guy is eliminated. Excellent. And next victim is going to be this crown wagon, especially if this crown wagon won't realize that he needs to move. Luckily for us, he did not realize it that, and we are holding this like crazy mother truckers, fellas. We are holding this game like there is no tomorrow. Skill you gold spammer. Fellas, what do you expect me to do? Listen, we are fighting against the super well armored tanks. Do you expect me to shoot the piece to the enemies? Like, you know, those those green little thingies. Hoo yuck! Hoo yuck! That's what you are expecting? Come on. 
this is the right play in this situation, you know, considering we are playing against the tier 10s, we just need to um, play the game in this way, and this is the proper gameplay of the Minotauro. And we were in definitely action, you know, we were playing super duper hyper turbo aggressively, and I am pretty uh, happy with how everything... Uh, um, turn it out, you know? I am feeling pretty good with all of this. Could I get more use? Probably I could, but um, I'm not going to cry over it. Also, one more thing. There is a chance we can reach those, um, those remaining forces here. I have no doubts that whatsoever that our T-62A will die, but that's okay. It's a it's matter of the time whenever we can uh, join and we can farm a bit more. Obviously, I would try to eliminate the guy who is down to fartable, but that's okay. Meanwhile, IS-4 is trying to climb up. So what that means, that means we are going to slap him. And he's going up once again, and we are okay. 907 is thinking, ha 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 ha, I have gold. A good one, my man. I have gold as well. Don't you worry, my man. Don't you worry. I do not really mind this so much, because I still have... Um, I still have a lot of hit points left, right? So I can take one for the team. It doesn't really matter. And here you go. We are gaming. This is perfection. How we played with this tank, I think it was good. And I think this is as much of the use as we could have gotten. 5.7 thousand damage while braveling and by playing aggressively. This is what you can expect from the Minotauro gameplay. And this is how you need to play with it. Uh, and luckily, we did not need to move through the open field in order to slap the enemies either, right? It was very, very, very solid play. And this is how you need to play with this tank. But wait until we are going to get Prokurovka, Kampinovka and whatever else where it's significantly harder to do so. This is where the fun will start. Anyways, looking into all of this, 5.7 thousand damage, beautiful first class, very, very nice. We are first by experience, we are first by the damage, and we lost 45 thousand credits, but that's to be expected, and you are playing with, with a tank which is requiring gold spam. So what do you want from it, right? Anyways, let's go for round number two and let's make it work. Okay, round number two, cliff standard battle. Beautiful. So what do we have? We have a very, very simple play. We are playing on Cliff and we are playing against the tier 9s. Now the worst part of all of this skill... The worst part of all of this is that enemies have two Artas. Object is firing crazy as Mother Tracker and Fava is, uh, is also annoying as F. So this is going to be an interesting one. I do not really consider going around because I'm just simply too slow for that shit. So I am thinking about going into the middle here. I think middle is going to be fine. And I think middle is the proper play, fellas. That's what I think. I think middle is the proper play. <coughs> Very nice. Looking at what enemies are doing, the worst part for us, what could happen, right, is that enemies would take this. Uh, so it would cause us humongous crossfire. But for now, I really like how the things are looking like and I cannot complain. Meanwhile, I'm getting spotted. Uh, I would not act surprised if there is a mother trucker in this bush, honestly speaking. I would not act surprised if there is a mother trucker in this bush. And as you can see, it is the case. Okay, beautiful. We figured this out. Very, very nice. And now we need to slap the living crap out of this uh, MAX. I understand that I'm stunned. I understand this. But I know I won't have the other chance like this. So I just simply need to go for it, you know? If I hit him, hip hip hooray. If I do not hit him, oh well, what can you do, you know? No complaints, no regrets. Now, we need to relocate a bit. And by saying we need to relocate a bit, I want to have a decent angle to slap this light tank. This is what I want to do. And this light tank is greedy. This light tank will make some pressure eventually, you know, it's a matter of the time. And whenever he is over peaking here, we are slapping him. I have an idea how I can play this game, by the way. Give me a second. Yeah, this light tank is all the time spotting me. Wait a second, how this light tank can spot me? This is the question. I have a very good idea already how we can get involved here. But you know what? Before that, we know that enemy Arta is sitting in this bush. Watch this. 
Okay, I am changing the plan a bit. Not by humongous margin, but just by a bit. Oy, 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 this gun, fellas. Oy, 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 this gun, huh? You must love it. Okay, what I would love to do, I would love to say hello for the Atarta. There is a humongous chance he's lazy, but, and he is not relocating after the shot. And that being said, it would be absolutely glorious if we would send him back to the garage, you know? This is what I am thinking. But so far, uh, th th this looks complicated, okay? So far, we have done absolutely nothing. It's a bit sad, but not much what we can change about this. I know exactly how we are going to approach the enemies, though. I am relocating from the middle, and I'm going to take 2-3 um, line. From 2-3 line, I can put a bit of pressure on the guys who are playing here. And whenever opportunity will allow us, we are going to um, even make a bit of pressure here as well. But for now, we are just chilling and we are just waiting. Meanwhile, there is a Fosh sitting here. Beautiful. Oi, 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 fellas. I'm reloading uh, heat. I am just wasting my time by shooting standards. I'm telling you, this tank is a full heat spam. Uh, shooting standards, it's like showing disrespect for yourself, you know, because you know that your gun is far away from being ideal and you still try to make it work in this way. This is, this is how this vehicle is looking like, fellas. So far, four minutes of uh, Kaku, if we can say so. It is far away from being good and it is far away from being ideal. Okay. I would love to see this T62A go back. Hmm, they are safe from us. No. I think I am instantly making pressure like this. I do not really have any other choice, fellas. If I want to get involved here, I think I need to try to figure out how I can how I can make pressure. That's only one way how I can do this. You need to be in the close range and you need to have um, a bit of the luck hitting enemies, right? That's one, beautiful. I mean, if we are going to kill both of the Arthas, this is going to be victory already, don't you think so? Killing two Arthas is always nice and always very much appreciated. Okay, just like so. I mean, I think he's sitting right here. Okay. Look at this beautiful bucket sniping from here. He should move. I do not really think he's going to stay in the same position. Okay, let's try to go for him. Okay, I am very, very, very happy that a game like this happened. And I can tell you exactly why I'm so damn flabbergasted and, I, and why am I so happy even though uh, this score is truly kaku. I am happy about this just because you can see how shit of the gun this vehicle has, okay? You can see how disgusting gun of this tank is. And sometimes, you know, it is just making my eyebrow to move like this and it feels like uh, uh, I am being tortured, right? And that is okay, fellas. That is not a bad thing by any shape or any form, right? We are going to fix this game with assisting damage. That is something and this is definitely uh, the right play in this kind of situation. I do not care that guy is farming me on the side. I truly do not mind about it. I am feeling very, very good. And all I am doing, I am farming the sweet assisting damage. That's all I am doing in this situation. But truly, fellas, um, the gun handling of this tank is the biggest problem, okay? Even though we finish it with a 4.5 thousand combined, you know, it's... Uh, in this game, I got the score just because I realized that I need to drop down like this and I need to spot here. If not this re uh, realization, I would have uh, gotten 1.1 thousand damage, that's it. Uh, nothing more than that, right? That's the most important thing to highlight and that's the most important thing to say. Truly very, very, very disgusting tank gun handling wise. Truly. 
and you know what is the funny thing i am just looking into the uh i am looking in the index page and the gun handling is rated three huh interesting very very interesting okay fellas so what do we have we have 1.6 thousand damage 3.3 thousand assisting damage that was that was uh all right you know we cannot complain about this and all and all uh 18 thousand minus because in the end of the day i loaded the hits right truly uh leave your comment down below if you have this tank and am i delusional for thinking that minotaur gun is that bad or is it the case well that's the main reason why you need to play very close with this vehicle right okay let's go for the last game okay guys last but not least we have steps and we have assault game so we need to defend the base this should be relatively easy for us i think this game is very very nice and i think we can we can farm a lot here but uh, you know it very much depends will we have enemy heavy tanks making pressure like this which is the correct play or will they go through the open field or they will snipe from somewhere this is the question but so far i think i think it is all right i really like this setup and i believe we can slap enemies crossing through the mid as well um there is a big chance that e100 won't be uh will be too tall to cross like this so we can get some free shots this is what i am hoping for this is what I am hoping for, fellas. Okay, beautiful. 277 on my X. Oh, I really like this. Oh, I really like this. Hi. That was uh, unfortunate, my man. Oh, that was very, very unfortunate. I mean, if enemies are going through the open field, I love it. If enemies are going through the open field, I am having a blast and I am enjoying myself. This is kind of risky play by me, I have no doubts it is. But in the same time, I am a bit greedy in this situation. I am just trying to get as many shots as I physically and possibly can, you know? This is how am I looking into all of this. Okay, we should be able to penetrate him into the frontal mantlet if we are going to hit where we are aiming to. And we are going to be all right. No, come on, one more. One more. Unfortunately, not good enough. It's okay. Relax, take it easy, we are chilling. We are chilling at this point. Okay. Okay. My main goal is to escape from this. I feel like I am just simply way too aggressive. I feel like I am way too aggressive. So I'm going to make a turn and I am going to run for my life. In this situation, you know? This is what I feel is the right choice. It's okay, even though I took a lot of damage while doing so. I can blame only myself for being greedy. I get the point that that T-62A is sniping from the back, I understand this. But you know what? We are just starting this game. We are just starting this game. I mean, look at this beautiful E-100. Very nice. Meanwhile, AMAX is getting involved as well. Hmm. Not ideal play by me, huh, fellas? Definitely not ideal play by me. I'm not super happy about my actions and about my play, but I do not really think I can change it and I can do something about it. It is just a bit too greedy. By the way, by saying a bit, I am using this, uh, this sentence extremely loose. It's not a bit. I am super greedy about that. I am super greedy about this play. It's okay. We are going to fix it and we will try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can here. This guy is annoying, but there is nothing what I can change about this at this point. At this point, all I need to do, I need to sit here, hold down. And I need to hope that he is going to make a bit of pressure like this. If he is going to make a bit of pressure like this, we are going to be fine and we are going to survive. But for that, we need to be patient. Um, also, T-62A is playing in a very, very, very nice position. He's doing everything properly here, and he is just slapping uh, uh, people who are making mistakes. As an example, our team is very, very aggressive here. 
Our team is super aggressive here for sure. I'm trying to punish this guy, it's okay. Better luck next time. I kind of want to go a bit higher here and now. I definitely can penetrate this guy into the frontal mantlet. I definitely can penetrate him, fellas. At this point, I feel like we are just a bit unlucky because 330 millimeters of penetration is actually all right. By the way, speaking what is not all right, this game is game over already. 4 to 8. And uh, even though it had potential, I kind of threw my hit points for free over there, you know? I was just way too greedy to go in. And I understand my responsibility, I understand what I have done wrong, and, you know, I know that was pure, pure, pure greediness. That's all that was. That was a pure greediness, fellas. By the way, if I'm not mistaken, they have someone sitting in this bush. I'm pretty sure about this. After that, we have a Leo who is coming straight for us. At least he should come straight for us. Or Caro. Doesn't really matter. This is a game over already. Unfortunately. I hate this gun. I hate this gun. Okay. Let's talk about this. Unfortunately, the game went into the shithole, and unfortunately, everything went uh, bad, right? Um, it happens. Sometimes uh, sometimes game is looking like this. There was one mistake which I made. I decided to get involved like this, right? Um, if I would have, let's say, full hit points in this situation, would I have better performance here? I really doubt it. I still think I would be slaughtered like a, like a bison in the open field by the pack of wolves, you know? This is what I think. And it was, it was disgusting, fellas. Um, the tank is not bad, you know? Don't get me wrong. This vehicle is not bad, but... But sometimes it feels like it's it's just the worst tank in the world of tanks just because of the gun. And I share those emotions whenever I was playing for Mark with this tank, right? So overall, 2,000 damage, 700 assisting damage. That was pretty damn dreadful. We are fifth by experience. We are fourth by the damage. Uh, from the gun, um, 12 shots fired, 4 um, penetrations, 8 direct hits. We lost 69,000 credits and we lost um, the brain cells as well playing with this tank. Overall, this session was weak. Um, this last game kind of messed the score up, but it is how it is. We still finish it with a 4.5 uh, thousand combined, right? Which is not ideal, but it is less than, um, than average for me. And overall, my performance with this tank is 3.9 thousand damage and 700 assisting damage. But once again, you know, the... Second game, I believe second game could be a bit better. Maybe I needed to commit more. The third game was just, you know, pure gangbang. Anyways, fellas, Minotauro, this is how this tank is looking like. Maybe you enjoy playing this type of vehicle. If you do, you can go for it. If you don't, well, uh, then there is plenty of the other tanks you can go for. <sighs> okay. Thank you very much for watching. I am feeling a bit better now. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.